Hey everybody, Paul here. What you're seeing here is a NAND circuit made with two 4093 Schmidt trigger ICs. And I've got two slide buttons here you can see right here. And the circuit right now is off. The LEDs are not on. But with NAND, it actually means that the circuit's actually closed. So it's kind of opposite what you'd think with an AND circuit. Regardless, if I turn one of these switches on, that's my sum light over here. That's the sum output because 0 and 1 equals 1. And if I turn both switches on, it's going to go to the carry light, the carry output, because 1 and 1 in binary logic um, gives us a 0 sum and it carries a 1. So that's as far as this bad boy goes it's just a half adder but it's still really cool and if i just keep one um switch open you'll see that it per it creates the output on the sum again and when both are open um the, the carry light goes on and then it's when the switch is off which we basically zero plus zero equals zero. The best way of understanding this stuff if you're just getting into it is actually set up a circuit and make some hand drawn notes in front of you to really understand what's going on. That's the best way of understanding how these things work I'm finding is just to follow it through and make your own notes. Here's our half adder um, schematic here and this is just what I was showing on the circuit. So A and B represent the two switches and what happens with the half adder is you need to use a full quad chip. That's why I had two chips there because they're each quad chips. So one chip is being used just for the sum. And the second chip is only using two inputs and an output for the carry. And that was the yellow light. So you can work through a truth table with this. And by following along with a pencil or what have you, you can actually see why... Um, the behavior is the way it is. For example, I've written some examples down here. So just stay with me here for a minute if you're interested. Um, let's look at both the switches on, which in NAND logic is not AND or is zero. So that means we're going to turn both switches on, which is a one. So A is one and B is one, but our output is zero on the NAND truth table, our output is zero. So then we have a zero and a one going into two and a zero and a one going into three. So that's gonna create an output of one on each, which going into the sum is gonna create output a zero, a zero sum. Okay, so fair enough. So remember our output here is zero and note that on um, input, five or the NAND gate here five that both of those inputs are coming from the output of number one so we have zero and zero going into five zero and zero in NAND logic is true or one so we have a carry one and that makes sense because one plus one is two in binary we have a zero sum and carry the one and you can go through, I've written down other examples here, just doing the same kind of thing as far as if just one of them switches is on and if both of them are off. And that's really the best way for understanding this stuff. Just get yourself a piece of paper, write down your schematic, and just go through and analyze what's happening with each input. And what's really cool is this is this carry aspect here. And I'm going to be doing a full adder um, pretty soon. So subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for that. And please post your comments below. And thanks for watching.